parade of champions. You are all champions, so give yourselves a hearty applause. Can you make some noise? Can you wave your hands in the air? All right. We are so excited to celebrate each one of you today. The reason why you are here is because you are a champion. It means that, yes, give yourselves another round of applause. It means that someone thought enough of you that they submitted your name as a champion. So all of you are victorious and you deserve to be celebrated today. We want to try to get everyone seated as soon as possible. You may find there are some vacant seats in other areas. Please feel free to just take those seats at this time. We would like to get our ceremony started at this time. Just in case you don't recognize me because I have on a cap today, I am Dr. Thomasina Jones, the superintendent of Bridgeton Public Schools. So I am the person who generally calls your house to say, today due to inclement weather, all schools are closed. I was shopping at a store on Saturday and a parent said to me, as a superintendent, you just sound too excited when you call us to close schools. I said, okay, the next time I have to close for inclement weather, I'll try to call you with a very somber message today. Unfortunately, due to the bad weather, all schools are closed. You like the other message better, right? Curl up with a good book, go out and make some snow angels. Whatever you do, enjoy your day because all schools are closed. Okay, make sure you tell your parents that you said it was okay for me to do that. Okay, so at this time, I have the honor and privilege to introduce to you some people who are responsible for organizing today's event. So I first of all want to welcome everyone who is here. We do have some parents who are visiting us today. Thank you so much for being here. Let's give our parents who are present a round of applause. I want to introduce to you some of the people who are on the stage with me at this time. We have some board members who are here. Now I want you to give them a thunderous applause because these young ladies had to take off work to be here to celebrate each one of you. So the first person is Miss Erica Williams Mosley. The second person is Miss Ashley Todd. Now remember, they had to take off work to be here today, so we appreciate them. We also have Dr. Robin Daniels, the Assistant Superintendent of Schools. Yes. Okay, I want Christy Shoppy to come forward. Now the reason why it's really incumbent upon us to celebrate Ms. Shoppy is because she was the chairperson of this event today. So we're going to give her a hearty applause. And we also want those committee members, if you're able to, can you just step down on the track so we can see who you are? 
all the people who assisted Ms. Shafi, Mrs. Shafi. Thank you so very much. Okay, so at this time, I also want to introduce someone else who is on the stage at this time. Now, everybody have experienced some of Chef D's food, right? Anybody ever taste Chef D's food? I know I eat from his table several times during the month. So let's give Mr. Warren DeShields, also known as Chef D, a round of applause. Okay, this is such an exciting time for all of us. So again, I wanna celebrate each one of you. So I need to know that you are here today. So I'm gonna call your, your school's name, and I need you to let us know that you are here at the stadium today. So let's start with Broad Street School. Broad Street is in the house. Buck Shooter Road School. Buck Shooter is in the house. Cherry Street School. Sherry Street is in the house. Bridgeton High School. <laughs> Bridgeton High School is in the house. Bridgeton High School Carver students. Help them out, Bridgeton High School. Bridgeton High School and Bridgeton High School Carver students. You needed some help. Okay, Excel. Excel is present today. Indian Avenue School. Indian Avenue, we heard you five miles from here. Quarter Mile Lane School. Water Mile Lane is in the house. West Avenue School. Wow. All of our schools are well represented today. I want to, I'm going to now call Miss Erica Mosley to the mic. She's going to speak on behalf of the Bridgeton Board of Education. Good morning. Good morning. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to be here with you all today to witness and celebrate your hard work. Everyone, give yourselves another round of applause. I won't be up here long, but all I want to say is, success is not an accident. It takes hard work, which I'm sure all of you are aware of. That means less hours watching television, less hours on PlayStation, and more hours concentrating on your studies. I want to say thank you to all your parents and teachers who also deserve a round of applause. Give your teachers and parents. Because they are your guide, your reinforcement. They have encouraged you to work to your potential. Continue to demonstrate your educational success because it will provide you with the opportunity to make a difference in the world. I've heard people say, work smarter, not harder. I suggest you do both. You get good results when you work smarter. You get better results when you work harder. Great job to everyone. And remember one thing, a goal without a plan is just a dream. Thank you.
Awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Miss Mosley. Okay. Moving on to our program, you did hear Miss Mosley stop to thank your teachers. So today you notice some esteemed, highly regarded people who are seated on the stadium today. These people are your Teachers of the Year and Educational Professional Services staff members who have been honored by the governor. So I'm going to call their names so they'll be recognized at this time. So this person could not be here today because she is currently on our senior class trip. That's how committed and dedicated she is to our students. But let me just say that yesterday I had the privilege to attend Cumberland County College, the Luciano Center, with all these people who are seated before you today. The Ocean First Bank provided them with lunch yesterday. They wanted to recognize them and honor them for their service. So we had a great time yesterday. They were honored by the governor and also the county freeholders. Let's give them a round of applause. So although she's not here from Bridgeton High School, the te Governor's Teacher of the Year is Miss Liz O'Brien. From Broad Street School, Miss Patricia Talavera. From Buck Shooting Road School, Mr. Jorge Garcia. From Cherry Street School, Miss Nicole Kinsey. From the Dr. Geraldino Foster Early Childhood Center, Miss Charmaine Jones. From Excel, Miss Gloria Wilkes. From Indian Avenue School, Miss Lisa Davis. From Quarter Mile Lane School, Miss Martina Morris. From West Avenue School, Miss Tiana Kelly. Now to our supporting cast members. The Governor's Educational Services Professionals of the Year from Bridgeton High School, we all know Mr. Jeffrey Meeks. From Broad Street School, Miss Leah Taylor. From Buck Shooting Road School, Miss Wally Lamboy. From Cherry Street School, Miss Brenda Williams. From the Dr. Geraldino Foster Early Childhood Center, Miss Audrey Blunt. From Excel, Mr. Robert Fink. Indian Avenue School, Ms. Iris Santiago. Watermall Lane School, Ms. Jody Mazza. And Mr. Robert Parker, who is from West Avenue School, could not be here today. Let's give them all a hearty applause. I will now turn things over to our chairperson, Ms. Christy Shoppy. I would like to welcome everyone to the 20th anniversary of the Parade of Champions. Welcome and give, your hand, give yourselves an applause for being here. I want to welcome parents, staff, teachers of the year, our administration, our board members, our guest speaker, and especially the students. You are why we celebrate here today. Um, I want to introduce our guest speaker. Our guest speaker is a graduate of Bridgeton High School in 1991. Am I allowed to say that? 
I can vouch, he, we went to school together during the same time, and I can say that he was a awesome athlete in high school um, that achieved, started achieving, like many of you, in your grade school and high school career. In, um, he was, he was um, an athlete and football track star where he won multiple state, state championship titles in shot put, discus, and high hurdles. After high school, he went on to study cooking at the Academy, Academy of Culinary Arts, where he graduated in 1993. Warren Wolf worked in catering halls, restaurants, and hotels before coming back home in 2000 to be manager of the Bridgeton High School cafeteria. As an assistant football coach and head track coach here in Bridgeton for over 15 years, he has had the opportunity to help shape the lives of many student athletes while leading his track team to five state championships. <clears throat> Warren is now the director of food services for Bridgeton Public School and responsible for serving over 9,000 meals a day. He is also president of the New Jersey School Nutrition Association where he travels across the country advocating for child nutrition here in New Jersey and throughout the United States, including lobbying congressmen in Washington, D.C. Warren is supported by his wife, who is also a Bridgeton educator, Mrs. DeShields. Is she here? She is here, right? There she is. Yay! She's at the high school. He has three sons, Jay, Solomon, and Jared. So please give a round of applause to Mr. Warren D. Shields, our speaker for the Parade of Champions. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate that. First of all, I'd like to thank the Board of Education, uh, Board President, Mr. Ed Bethia, and the two board members who are here today. I'd also like to thank Dr. Thomasina Jones, Superintendent of Schools, and also the Parade of Champions Committee for selecting me to be up here. This is truly an honor to come back to Bridgeton and be able to speak to you guys as a native son. It, it does my heart good. I can't tell you how much it, it means to me to be selected for this. So I was once like you guys. I grew up in Bridgeton. I went through the uh, school system. I was, uh, I came here when I was four years old and I was a student at Cherry Street School. <laughs> I was a student at Buck Shootham Road School. Back when they called it the middle school, I was a student of Broad Street School. <laughs> And in 1991, they finally kicked me out of Bristol High School. <laughs> but there were good times that were had here in Bridgeton, as Ms. Shoppy just said, thank you. I want you all to know that there's a lot of success that you heard when they in introduced me, and it took a lot of people to get me there. And still today, a, a man 46 years old, it still takes a lot of people to get you to the success that you're having right now. There was a teacher or a coach or somebody who pushed me, just like Dr. Jones said earlier, someone selected you today to be a champion. Somebody said, you know what, we see something in you academically, extracurricular activity, or through sports that makes you a champion today. So please take that time to give them a loud round of applause. So I want to tell you a, a couple stories about success and how to get there. When I'm on social media, I use a hashtag that inspires people who achieved or are going through hard times and they need some kind of pick-me-up because they, they need some inspiration. I use the hashtag 
keep pushing. So I need your help today. Every time I say hashtag, I want you guys all together to say keep pushing. Can we try it one time? Hashtag. That was perfect. You guys are great. So here are some examples of people that are champions that keep pushing. Where's Broad Street at? There you go. So your principal, Miss Guess, has been an employee of the Bristol School District for over 45 years. That's a long time. Give her a round of applause real quick. Her dedication and passion for students here in the district has allowed her to move from year to year, inspiring students to move from elementary into the high school level. Did she have some rough years in that 45? Yes, she did, but she didn't quit. So you know what I would say to her? Hashtag. There you go, you got it. Some of you guys know Coach Mike Vallela from Bristol High School. He's the head baseball coach and he's been there for 16 seasons. Coach Vallela prepares his kids every single day to be winners and they expect to win every single game that they go out and play. But over the last 16 years, Coach Vallela's career record has been 62 wins and 312 losses. That's rough, right? But that doesn't stop him. His love for the game and his passion to teach his kids how to be great athletes and great human beings pushes him every single day to go out and win games, whether they lose or not. So you know what I'd say to Mr. Valella? Hashtag. There you go. Some of you guys may know an athlete that Coach Ellen and I coached when we were here in 2008. Dominique Williams. Dominique didn't get many scholarship offers out of high school, so he went to a small Division I school, and once he graduated, he didn't get any NFL offers. But lo and behold, he was signed on by the Minnesota Vikings, and he spent two years coach playing there, and he was cut. But he was immediately picked up by the Arizona Cardinals. The week he was supposed to play in a game, he banged knees in practice and they cut him. During that offseason, he was picked up by the New York Jets. He made their team. Lo and behold, again, Dominique suffered another injury where he had a severe concussion. The team cut him as well. For the last two seasons, Dominique has been in Canada playing for the Calgary Stampeders. Five days ago, Dominique was cut by them because he suffered another knee injury. So when he called me and he told me about it, you know what I said to Dominique? Hashtag. I talked to Dominique last night and he sends his love to all of you here in Bridgeton. He's still a bulldog at heart through and through. So there are a thousand of you seated in the stadium today that are true champions. But what I wanna leave you with today is, it's not the end. You're gonna have many more successes as Mrs. Ms. Mosley talked about, and you're gonna have some rough days where you just don't wanna do it anymore. But the key to it is to keep moving, to keep putting your foot on the floor every day when you get out of bed and keep going forward. There are going to be hard times, and there are going to be good times. I use a quote from uh, Dave Ellen, the Bristol football coach. He would always tell us, you can never get too high when you win or too low when you lose. And I, I live by that. You can have success, but you can't get too high about it. And when you don't have success, you can't get too down about it. Keep pushing. So I know all of you out there are gonna have success. I know you will. You got great teachers here in Bridgeton that are sitting right here before you, and you got great parents that are all sitting down here right in front of you. So I know you're gonna have success. But remember, always keep pushing through success and always, always keep pushing through the hard times. 
And if you see me in the hallway or the cafeteria, let's remind each other of what we talked about today. So when you see me, point to me and say, hashtag, you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Yeah. 